we have got 4.45 p.m. Central Time, Lending Tree Bowl, Liberty, the Fighting Hugh Freezes against Eastern Michigan. And you know how much I love Chris Creighton. The Lending Tree Bowl gift suite on that one as well. It's in Mobile, Alabama, Lad People Stadium. This one is interesting. Uh, Eastern Michigan, a nine-point underdog as it sits right now. Hugh Freeze has kind of been money in bowl games. But the thing that, that worries me is Liberty is really bad at penalties. Eastern Michigan is really good, really disciplined football team. Eastern Michigan will not be able to stop the run. They just won't. On the other side, I don't know that Liberty is going to be able to stop Ben Bryant in that passing attack for Eastern Michigan. This seems like maybe, it, it, so it's kind of an audition for Malik Willis. Uh, but I'm going to go the opposite direction. I think this could end up being a bit of a shootout. And when we get those kind of situations, I, I think I'm going to ride with the underdog here. Eastern Michigan plus the nine. Uh, Chris Creighton has been money as an underdog. And and I will take him in this spot because Liberty's kind of been terrible as a favorite this season. I think they closed the year one and five against the spread. So I will, I'll, I'll take Eastern Michigan to cover the nine just because I think the line should have been closer to seven. But uh, Liberty looks like the bigger, stronger team overall. It wouldn't surprise me if they cover this. But I, I will take Eastern Michigan here. Man, I don't think we've agreed on a game yet, dude. That's weird. Oh, um, we got upstate. Yeah, I guess maybe. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I, I like Liberty here. I, I think Hugh Freeze, with a couple of weeks to prepare, is, is usually pretty good, right? And maybe I'm wrong on that. No, no, you're right. But, but you're I, right. I, I, you know, you're right. As in the regular season, he has he has struggled to uh, to to do, you know, to, to keep up, I guess, and to cover and to play consistently. That's been the motto of this season is inconsistency, and and Liberty has been uh, absolutely a part of that. But at the same time, I think Hugh, with a couple of weeks to prepare, he's got the best quarterback he may have ever coached uh, on his on his arm, and one more game with him, I, I think that they're going to show up and they're going to put on a show. Hey, you might be right. You might be right. So Liberty minus nine for you, Eastern Michigan plus nine for me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.